Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this lecture, we are going to see the very, very basic uh, functions that are available in list and they are the len function, the count function and the index function. So let us see what they actually do. Talking about the length function, it is very uh, obvious to uh, understand it with its name itself. It says that it returns the length of the or list. So definitely I have a list which have five elements. So if I, uh, you know, pass my list as an argument to the length function, definitely it will be returning five as the length of my string. So let us go back to our Python screen and see how this uh, actually function works. So let me just take a list with five elements. And uh, let me just take a variable called length and pass my list in length function. And I will be simply printing the length of my list. And if I will be entering it, and I will be getting 5 as the output, which is nothing but the length of the list which I have taken over here. It's not necessary that it will be working on uh, integer values only. Uh, let's say I will be taking characters as uh, my uh, list elements and that will be working very fine on those as well. So it is not necessary that, uh, you know, the element should be integer or something that will be definitely returning the actually actual count of the number of elements that are present in the list. So that was a very simple function. Coming to the next function, which is count. As the name suggests, it counts the occurrence, right? So as you can see on your uh, screen is that I have taken a list which I have repetitive numbers, right? So one is repeating several times, two is repeating several times and so on, right? So what count function does, it returns the frequency of an element. So if I call count on my list L, so that is the way we call it is the name of your list dot count. And as the argument, you will be uh, passing the number of uh, of whose frequency you want to check right so we have uh, put one over here so it will be returning three because one occurs three times and if I uh, put two then one two three four five so two is occurring for five times right so it will be returning five as the count of two right so let us see how this function works so here we have a list of elements let's say one and then three and four right so it has several repeating numbers right so what i will be doing i will be printing each and every numbers frequency so for number one uh, i will be having uh, l dot count and in bracket i will be passing one and closing the brackets right so for fast execution let me just copy and paste these print statements one by one and I shall be changing one to two three and four again two three and four right so here what we are doing we are actually counting the occurrence of each numbers right so this should give me answer as three this should give me answer as five this should give me answer as 2 and 4 is occurring only once in my list. So this should be the potential output. So let us run and cross check. And you can see that what count function did, it actually returned the frequency of each and every number. So I think that is much evident. You will be able to understand what is the working of count function, right? The next function, which is the index function. So what index does, it returns the first occurrence of the element, right? So index, as the name suggests, gives us the index, right? But it gives the index of the first occurrence. I call index at element 1. So it will be returning 0 because 1 occurs for the first time at index 0, right? 
for in for very uh, for element number two it will be returning 0 1 2 3 it will be returning 3 because 2 is occurred for the first time at index 3 right so let me just edit the same code for index function right and this time it will be returning the index at which the number actually occurred for the first time right so for example if i talk about 1 it should return 0 because 1 is occurring for the first time at 0 then 0 1 2 3 3 should be there for 2 right so that was 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 3 should be coming at 8 that is the first index 9 and 10 so 10 should be at the last one right so let us see what we are getting as the output so yes we are getting 0 3 8 and 10 which are the first indexes at which these particular digits or these particular elements occurred so that was all with this particular video in this we have seen the very trivial functions that is the length count and index that are available in list in python and for understanding more about list stay tuned to my channel thank you